Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, you all know me, Neil. Uh, you've got Anne John in the red corner and Ryan as well. Glad that you take your time out on your bank holiday weekend. Uh, a good Friday won't so much of a good Friday, Andy, uh, for Barnsley. Mm. Uh, some people say we won't at races, but I want to get on about fist away for um, and ball and red card. Surely a game changer, mate. That surely. I saw it from other end at ground because obviously that's where we were as away fans, and everybody saw it by referee. Um, and obviously that's main important person on pitch who did see it. Uh, but everybody saw it, whether you were in away end or at home end, everybody saw it. And however it weren't given as a penalty, I'll never know. Um, but yeah, definite game changer. Um, I mean, what, what what can we do as a club now, though? Um, yeah, needs highlighting that uh, referee missed it. But end of the day, it's not going to change out. That, and frustrating. That's the only word I can describe yesterday. Frustrating. And that what start on it, uh, that handball yeah. incident for me. Um, it, it, it was just poor. Um, I'll never, ever know that referee did not give that. You can even see on still pictures that it, players actually made a fist to uh, get ball <laughs> away. Yeah. Um, now, just... I just can't put it into words. I'm uh, disappointed and, like I said, frustrated. I was with decision, and like everybody else, what players, management, supporters, it. No, it it, it was just poor mate. Uh, that uh, Ryan. performance, performance, was a little bit similar as well. Frustrated. Yeah, for me, Neil. You know, sometimes when you can argue, when you haven't won, and you should have had a penalty here, and you should have had a penalty there. There's no guarantee that you're going to score it. And sometimes with penalties, it's, you know, what it wanted. I've seen them given, not given. Maybe referee didn't see this. Maybe he didn't see that. But an am ball online to stop a ball, going, to stop a, a shot going in, which is a clear goal. What? Where's the Where's the discrepancy? Where's, where's the... It is a penalty. It's a clear penalty. It's a red card, 11 minutes in, right? And then they're down to 10 men. And that Burton's game plan completely changed from there. Mm. You know what I mean? And referee has had an absolute stinker there. How has he missed that? We saw, like, like Andy said, we saw it on the side of the ground. His arm were out to his side. Even yeah. players were not saying his arm's here. You see it, it's out here to the side. Mm. And you could see it. And my brother were in. Uh, my brother didn't come yesterday because he's in Lanzarote on holiday. So he watched it and I follow. So I sent him a quick message going, what that handball? What it handball? And he sent me a video. <laughs> he sent me a video of it in slow, you know, from, from watching I follow. And it's so clear. Um... You know, and even when I watched F EFL highlights last night, even even pundits were saying he's had a stinker there, referee. Don't even know what he's seen. He's had an absolute nightmare there. Because it's yeah. penalties don't always change games because you've got to score them. It's, they're not a guaranteed goal. It's like mm. games in hand, isn't it? They're not a guaranteed three points. Mm. It, but when it's an handball and it's online, it's de early, especially early on in game, it's down to 10 men and then it's a very, very different game. Yeah. Uh, and we have the opportunity to score. Um, so yeah, cr it, criminal, and, and he, you know, we'll have to see what the club do because if, if we can't get if we've not had a penalty all season and you can't get one for a clear hand ball on line, stopping a stopping a, go a ball going in that's going to that's a clear goal, where do, where do you, you know, what do you do? What do you do? So yeah. I think, and I think Andy's right, frustrating. I think that's probably the word for yesterday was frustrating as a, as a, as a whole, kicked off by you know, kicked off by that. Yeah, I mean, Andy, frustrating. Uh, my take on it was, well, it seems like there's conspiracy against Barnsley. For, and uh, and people say, oh, yeah, but me and, but I think he even standard referee, and I, I don't want to, look, I, by no means, you know, result went our way with Chef Wednesday in Oxford, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I've even watched that, and he's, he's down on floor. The Oxford player runs over him and trips, and it's a penalty. And it's like, what the hell's going off at standard refereeing? I know. It's like, know. it's so uh, farcical. But we've got to... And I've seen some comments like saying, oh, I bet all them people like now wish we made VAR and EFL. Not really, because that, it doesn't matter. That, that shouldn't even be a, a debate for VAR. That blatant no. and ball with going down, our mark is actually leading into it. It's, 
a VAR shouldn't have to be dealing with stuff like that, but it should be a basic refereeing error with position one. Yeah. So all this about VAR, I don't buy it. VAR should well, be out there to for like really dodgy decisions. I mean, that was an actual farce of the decision, but I don't know if you can't see it. It shouldn't be it, for me, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be refereeing this week or end of season because something like that is so basic and for us it could cost us financial gains out of this yeah, absolutely the, the, the implications of that decision are potentially massive aren't they because it's pretty much yeah. not, it's not completely gone as an automatic because you know we're, we're only six points behind Ipswich and we've got to play them at home yet so then you know yeah. it's, it's not completely dead and buried um Although it's a slim chance, but yeah, the, the knock-on effect of that is is exactly what it is. That it could be financial. It could be the fact that with that that's the decision that makes it that we don't yeah. get automatic, and we may be fair. You know, you, you don't. There's a lot. There's a lot of things. If puts some maybes in there, but you know, the key word here is professional referees. The professionals. That is their job. That's what mm. they're paid to do. They're paid to make the big decisions. Paid to get the big decisions right. And not only him. He's missed it, and Lino's missed it, and it's yeah. it's not good enough. It ain't good enough just to say sorry, because the implications of that decision, you know, a sorry don't a sorry don't cover it. It don't. It's not good enough. So anyway, that's that's my say on penalty bit. <laughs> get on to it. Get on to it. Because that that's probably not why we lost. By the way, but, oh no, no, well, no, no. I, I don't think it we, was. Still, we still we still had we still had seventy nine minutes to play eleven against eleven against a team that we probably should have been. Yeah, beating, so. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, going on to referee and um, standards at refereeing. Um, can you remember when we played Accrington away? Um, yeah. referee was poor then. Yeah. I believe that what same referee yeah. that did yeah, that was. penalty yeah, against Chef Wednesday, yeah, it was. So yeah. that points to the standard of that referee, that yeah. female referee. Um, so it, it definitely needs looking into I think any referee, to be fair, isn't it? Not just yeah. female, I mean, any yeah. referee. Yeah, but th that particular referee, um, th 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 there's something that needs addressing there, without a doubt. Um, and yeah, that penalty um, decision uh, yesterday. Like I say, we can put complaints in which we need to do. needs to be highlighted, but as a club, it's not going to help us because they're not going to do an alter. It's not going to alter outcome. Um, but yeah, like Ryan said, it, it, it wasn't just that what changed it as well. Uh, I personally thought there were little bits, uh, um, little mistakes or little things that we've seen it past um, from yesterday as well. I, yeah. I think we played too direct, and when we got up front as well, it was like we didn't know what to do with ball as well. Um, do you think that altered it, uh, Andy, which state at pitch? Because we were, ever, we were watching it heavily, and in front of the manager's dugout, it looked like there were more sand on pitch and more, the more, more grass. It, it were poor dark wings, but then again, we were playing dark wings quite a, a bit. Where mm -hmm. yeah. it, it were turfed up grass, mm -hmm. so I, I just couldn't get that. Um, what else I'm gonna gonna say? Um, yeah, like I said, up front, uh, you know, we, we didn't seem to know what to do with ball. I thought we were passing it a bit too much rather than having a dig. And I'll yeah. do, but you've got to give a bit of credit to Burton. I think they did a, a job on us. Uh, they did their job, um, and I think a lot goes to how we played. Um, well, down to Burton, I think they they just didn't let us play. But then again, uh, most of the time we were just oofing it, um, and I was surprised Cole got took off because I thought Cole had a a bit of a stinker as well yesterday. Um, yeah. but that's uh, Williams did as well. I thought. I thought Williams didn't really have his best game. Um, so there were a few players that were on it, but I think you've got to give a bit of credit to Burton as well. Like I said, they did a job on us um, and we've just got to move on, I think, there. Ryan, I mean, it looked like, you know, they'd done their own work. They, they, they'd done their tactics to so, you know, to, to stop us from playing, which we did, you know. Like uh, Andy said, we, we were hitting it long ball uh, with no outcome from it. Uh, more or less bypassing our midfield, our midfields couldn't get into it. Yeah. But watching it pitch heavily, uh, delaying, slowing tactics down, uh, yeah. even until you know last minute. You know, I mean, yeah, Joe can laugh, but the fans keeping hold of the ball when you could tell that we weren't the ascendancy, we were trying to take it to them. But again, it was like 
tactics like that. What more? Not 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 a great footballing spectacle. Um, and I don't think you know. I think Burton took that all day long. Great right? result for them uh, for what they need. But again, it just didn't seem what was happening. Uh, like what Andy said, via few players off it. But even when four substitutions came on in one go, Watters tried huffed and puffed, but for no for no real game changing moments. You know, Nicky Cannon got got one straight back kind of thing, but too little, too late, mate. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a tough, it was a tough afternoon. It was a bit of a tough watch, wasn't it? Um, I don't think it was as bad as a, a lot of folk online are making out saying, you know, it was diabolical and that. I thought, you know, like you so said, like, and like Andy said, I think we've got to give credit to Burton. They, yeah, got were, to lower, account, lower, yeah, that were a lower yeah. positioned, you know, battling to save. I think they might have saved their actual. I think you know that might pretty much secure the safety now. You know, they're trying to secure their safety in division for for, for next season, and they. They did what they need. They did what they needed to do, didn't they? So you can't you can't fault them really. That's what you know. That's what they did. I just I don't know why we fall into trap when we play against these lower league teams where we start playing that long ball. It, it frustrates mm-hmm. me. We, we've got such great players in midfield, ball playing players that can do damage. We look miles better when we get a ball on the floor. I don't know why we just do that. Too much of it. I think it's second half. It were a lot better. I mean, it worked. Like I said, it worked a terrible display. I think we. Overall, we were probably a better team. We played yeah. better football. We created far more chances, yeah. but some players just they just weren't they, they, they weren't at it. I mean, how many times did Williams get down right hand side and get into mm. area, and then he found a yellow shirt every single time? Like you said, he weren't yeah. he weren't at the races. I don't think Irby came at races at all to yesterday. Um, Devante Cole were not 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 in full form. I didn't agree with him taking Connell off. I don't know why he took Connell off. I thought Connell were, mm. I thought Connell had been brilliant up to that I point. I thought we lost the shirt. I thought we lost the shirt when he went off. To yeah, be absolutely. Yeah, I don't know why. But he, he needs to be on 90 minutes all the time, maybe Connell, unless, he, unless he's got a knock. Leave him on. Because the guy mm. is, 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 the, is the game. He's, he is the game changer, isn't he? He's our playmaker. Um. So, yeah, I mean, their goalkeeper, you know, credit where credit's due. Their keeper had an absolute storm. He had an absolute storm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he made some. He made that worldy from that looping header from uh, Mads. You know, he saved. He saved well for um, Tedditch's rasp on the post. Mm. That he, he turned and he gave that a smack. He saved that comfortably. He, 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 he had really good positioning for Benson's over a kick effort. So I think mm. if he's in centre of his goal, he ain't saving that. But he had good positioning, yeah. so it was quite, it was a straightforward save for him. He yeah. saved from Waters in 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 injury time. Um, I don't think Waters could have done else with it because he's he's. he's you know, he's, he's only got that little area to go for, and he's, he's down with Eddie to corner. He's made a good save, and that save at end were, out, were outstanding. Hmm. So, you know, another day, another day, we might be saying, yeah, it was a good away performance, <laughs> not as best, yeah. but a good away performance. As it happens, you know, we we haven't we haven't managed to get back into it, and um, we, we, you know, it, it, it's a little bit of doom and gloom, isn't it, because of because of what it means really at the, at the top end. Having said that. I think one of the really big positives that I took from it after after I got home and after I, you know, stopped, <laughs> after emotion had gone out of it, um, the fact that we went 2-0 down late on and still trying to get back into it, that's that's a, that's a massive positive, is that? Yeah, we didn't, we, that, we yeah. didn't let the Reds get down. We went 2-0 down, we two or three minutes left, and we still believe we could get back into it. And we, we yeah. very, very nearly did. Mm. We very, very nearly did. So that's, that's, that's a big positive. But overall, just a bit of a frustrating afternoon, Neil, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to come on to that, uh, and they just what well, Ryan just, just touched on there. What what pleasing thing for me is that lads didn't give up. They still carried on urgency and it's ending him over there, mate. Want the right until yeah. like I think seven minutes uh, at a time on it. But still wanted to chase it, and if we couldn't yeah. get to point out, then it were a result. So that was well, one pleasing aspect to see is that it won't like oh, two no, you know it's up. We're still going for it, still going for it. When we've got to go straight back, it like keep on it, and I'm thinking, come on, let's just get another, get another. And like what Ryan just said there, Andy, probably last season it'd have been that's it now, nah, pack up and go. Yeah. Under Duff now, and I think the fans appreciated it, is that we can see that they're trying, even though we, we're still losing all we're still going for points, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. A uh, can't fault effort from yesterday. Um when they scored the second goal and it were going out for um like goal kicks or uh throwings, you know, we were uh, getting the ball back in place right away. Mm. Can't fault. But it's a weird one yesterday because 
yeah, effort was here, but like finished product won't. It it, it was it was a bit of a strange, and that's why I think, uh, like I say, you've got to give Burton um, all due respect to Burton. You've got to give them um, respect, and uh, how the handle came. Um, I think that's a lot to do with it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was a strange one. Effort was here, but yeah, there were still some players that just didn't fetch the A game. Uh, you can have all effort it will if you if you're not on it. Um, you, you know, going to struggle. Um, yeah, um, Williams, like I said, his crosses were well. I, I think they were a bit non-existent yesterday. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, um, effort can't fault him. And yeah, uh, last season we would have uh, ends would have been down, and we probably would have conceded a few more goals um, probably last season like that. But uh, yeah, a strange game. Just got to put it to bed, I think, and move on. I think for Monday. Put it to bed and move on to Monday for Shrewsbury, which kind of leads into see if we can get the atmosphere going at all. Well, uh, yeah. just before I come on to that. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, both myself and Joe from Red All Over got a, a Zoom call invite to, to meet with security officials and about it. Oh, well, for Stadium, uh, there were other representatives here as well. Uh, basically, just what happened with Morgan game. And we know we're trying to get an atmosphere at club. Um, and it was, it was a good talk, to be fair. It was in, an interesting insight on what we've got to go through. Uh, the club, so we don't get fines and we don't, you know, we don't leave us and up into issues going dark line and problems out of stuff. And uh, I know that the, the club are trying to get things right, and you know, stewards are learning, they are, you know, stewards are human beings at the end of the day. Uh, they're there to do a job, it's not a great pay job, we, we get that. Um, it's always nice to see a steward who you know you can have a chalk and a banter because end of the day bear. some of them are bounds of fans as well because it's like in our stewards like now what they wanted to do and they have been for the last couple of seasons and they're, you know, they're getting there they're getting there um, but yeah I mean this was all what went off with Megaphone as you might know on other video I had Granty on um, he had his say and what happened and stuff like that and Club took it on board. They, they know it's a, a minority uh, of people that wanted to disrupt games. And Grant is not one of them. He's wanted to, uh, you know, he's wanted to improve the atmosphere. And we all love Grant. We all love characters like that. That's what it's all about. Yeah. The communication should have been better and could have been better, acknowledged by everybody. Uh, so moving forward, I'm hoping that, you know, they are looking into the possibility of having a, a megaphone, but again, we've got to get authorization to do this, uh, just like any other uh, EFL club or any uh, football league club in uh, England. We've got to go through certain protocols and making sure we tick out right boxes so it don't land club in trouble with a possible fit of K fine like it did against Bristol Rovers. Something we can't afford to take a hit on. So, yeah, at the time, yeah, it could have probably been done better. Um, but lessons to be learned, they are learning want our help stewards want our help we want stewards help as well so again it's just like and this will go out through you know the, we wanted to put some kind of polls out and any feedback or like that way we can improve it and again it's a two-way communication um i did ask about away fans what, what you know what's fair to can our steward in and they said it's about 50 50 obviously if they're losing then it's it's going to be a poor review but if they're winning it's going to be oh your best you since ever and again, it's just a fair representation on each each side. It's not just like Ponton, it could be West End, it could be away, it could be East End. It's it's a constant learning progress, but like what they said at the club, and we were all there, you know, edit security, people were training them up and stuff like that. Um it's just wanting best for a football club and they don't want fines, which I totally get, and none of us want fines. But we also do want us to enjoy sins and atmosphere, which we are trying. It's just giving that fine balance. So uh, I did ask just to get a mention, which I have done, because uh, it's only right to put side across what we are trying to do. Um, I called it out last week, and um, Joe has as well. He raised a few issues about some people have got some niggly issues, but we don't want to really name names because we don't want to be like feel as if it be like scared to go to a game, which nobody wants to be scared. Uh, but again, 
stewards are human beings. We all want to, you know, fun and laughter, which I think we all want. You know, fun, laughter, three points, and it's all to be respectful as well, and not just to disrespect people. Because end of the day, they they are there to, you know, your own interest for it for your own safety. At end of the day, and they want to go back to their own families, not being verbally abused or take Mick to car to them. Um, and that what, what just my say on that, uh, Ryan. I'll come to you, mate. I mean, yeah, should be town. I mean, atmosphere. It has been improving at all. Well, I think we all can agree on that. But I mean, yeah. should be going to be coming up mid table. You know, they're in ten from looking at form table. We've like drawn, lost one, and lost the last three. But again, we keep saying it. Then when we come back to all, well, it seems to be a bit of a fortunate minute. Another another game that we should be winning really to keep it just in touch, mate, isn't it? Yeah, I, th- I think I think I, I said previously that we could maybe if we're going to make a proper push for for automatics that. We needed to need, need, win nearly every game and not lose any. But after I said that, we lost the first one after I said it. So <laughs> I think I think now to have any sort of remote chance is is we have to win every single game. So yeah, it's an absolute it's an absolute must win. My only concern is that it might be a bit flat because almost like we've had win technarvers with that loss, and it just seems like you know that the the atmosphere has been great because we've been playing so well, but also because there's that chance of automatic in there. There's that chance of getting mm. promoted automatically, mm. and it feels like that might have gone a little bit. So I'm hoping that doesn't have an effect. I'm hoping that we can still make Oakwell a bit of a a bit of a fortress and make it noisy. Um, you're taking stewards, yeah. Andy. Uh, sorry, you're taking stewards, Ryan. Um, yeah, I mean it's nice. It's nice that they've come out. It's nice that they've invited you and Joe on for an explanation. I think that I think that communication's really key. I think with anything, communication's key, so you can actually talk to each other, so you know where each each others are coming from. You know, after what we spoke about off air, it, I think it's it, you know I can understand why they've not got why they've had to take the gramophone off them and why there has to be correct procedures now. But that's come through communication, hasn't it? That's come through. Yeah communication as opposed to us thinking well why has he been such a job with taking it off and, and now he's explained it you, you, you know you can you can understand why it's not you know it's a difficult job in it uh they, like you said they don't get paid much um and it must be quite it must be quite difficult dealing with you know drunken idiots at times like like um like yesterday um mm. which went went far, it just went far too far you know, there, there were no need. The, the girl were just doing a job, and to to get that much abuse, it, there's there's banter, and then there's abuse, and that was abusive yesterday, and it would yeah. it would a shame. It really was a shame to see what happened, and I don't I don't think anybody, whether it's or any steward, whether it's at Oakwell or any other ground, they might be jobs, but they don't they don't they don't need to be abused. They don't come to work. Nobody goes to work to get abused. I'm sure you don't, Neil. I don't no. go to work to get abused by anybody. And just because you're a steward at a football match, where where there's people that's you know, clearly can't handle the rail well enough. Is that that's not an excuse? So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah that's my take on it, mate. Yeah, Andy. I mean, like I say, like just what like what uh, Ryan said there. To be fair, I mean, we all go to work. We all go to you know football and that, not to be verbally abused. I don't like that or even intimidated. We're just doing the jobs at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. Should be town, like I say, uh, mid table, mid table side. Is it going to be an hard call? Is it going to be a, a kind of a tricky match like what Ryan touched on earlier? It's we've had his win, you know, not tartars a bit because uh, um, automatic. Or do you think Duff's got him under? And like I said, look, we're still in playoffs. We're still chance for We're not because I, I remember in midweek he get he got asked a question and he said even though uh, sorry yeah it was midweek after uh, Mark game says oh well we're fourth now you know you another couple of wins you've been. Um, in top two, when it were a great microphone moment, he went, yeah, but we're still fourth, aren't we? Pushed her. And it was like, that's the kind of mentality. So, yeah, what's your take on it, mate? Um, Yeah, it's... I think what Ryan said, I think is it now on the head there. Um, I just thought there's not going to be like a bit of a hangover from yesterday. Um, we still need to get behind them. Still need to uh, take teams we... 100% respect whether we're playing at home or away. Um, yeah, it could be a potential banana skin on Monday uh, with Shrewsbury, but <laughs> I am expecting us to come out and players and managers. And I'm hoping um, supporters to react from yesterday and get mm-hmm. behind them and, 
uh, put that result um, at the back of his mind now from yesterday. Um, so it's going to be tough to try and get that second spot now, I think. But you never know. Um, yeah. all, we, all we've got to do is just keep playing his own games. Um, I, I know I probably sound a bit like a manager here. Uh, not worry what others are doing. Uh, others are going through a little bit of a blip as well. Uh, so all we can do is just concentrate on his own games and and see what happens. Um, yeah. But yeah, on paper, and I am confident that we'll get a result on Monday against Shrewsbury. Um, going back to Megaphone, just to lighten it up a little bit, I, I keep thinking about Jimmy Hart from WWF. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Do you remember him? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> funny being, isn't he? Yeah. Can we get Megaphone yeah. to Michael Duff? It can beat Jimmy Hart at the Barnsley. That'd be right, funny, that. Um, so, I don't think yeah. you want to wear that pink suit, though, Andy. <laughs> oh, that suit that was well, brilliant. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I keep thinking about that. It's my brain and wrestling. So, there we go. But, yeah, looking forward to Monday. Looking forward to Monday. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, would you make any changes in school prediction, mate? Um, I don't know. I don't think I would make any changes now. Uh, maybe, maybe Luke Thomas for one at, for for either Kane or, or or Phillips. But although I thought Phillips played really well yesterday, I thought he come on. Mm. I thought I thought he won at better players. Maybe, um, um, so no, maybe not. No, maybe not. I think we just like you say, no, no need to be over dramatic. You know what I mean? It's a loss where we were probably a better team. Like I said, we got beat, but yeah. we probably played best football and created best chances. So although we weren't yeah. fully at the races, no, I won't. I won't. I won't change that team you know it's the same team that you know put four past Wednesday in it so start when we started put four past Wednesday so um score prediction I'm gonna say I want to say three now I think we're gonna have a good convincing win three now Andy would you make any change in score prediction mate um I'll be honest I think all the change I would like to see but I don't think it it would happen is on bench um, I'm still not sure me about Tedich. When he comes on, um, I'm not confident that he's going to change or pop a goal in. Um, whether that shows ready or not, I don't know. But I'd like to see him on bench as an option. Uh, mm. He's our player, end of the day. We bought him yeah. and yeah, Teddy cool. is on loan. Um, that's, I think that's all it changed I'd like to see. Um Probably midfield. No, no, I would have said Russell, but uh, no, I'd keep it same. But I'd like to see that show um, up bench Monday. But I don't think it'll happen. Um, like I said, uh, Tedich does try, puts his centre back, but uh, as a striker, I- I'm still not convinced that he's going to change a game for us. Mm. Yeah, it makes you wonder, so doesn't it? Andy? Makes you wonder where, why he's playing two. Um, lone strikers on bench and not a player yeah. that, we, that we really pushed to get. Yeah, in a game now, has, has he got a bit of a knock? I'm not. I'm not sure. Or is he just not up to? Is it not up to fitness? But it, it's a weird there one. There must be something that's happening in training. Yeah, there's not to use one of his own players that was going to be here for the next two or three seasons minimum. Yeah, and and but and play lone strikers in front of him. Um, mm. So there must be a reason why. I'd, Michael just making that decision. You can only think it's either an injury or he's, he's yeah. not quite up to speed. And them, them two are obviously the better option, which is a bit mm. disappointing, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, good, good call that Andy. Actually, to be fair, yeah, good call. It's like, like I said, it, we must be, like what Brian just touched on. There must be some kind of reason. Like I said, two lone players, uh, but out of Watters or Tedic, you've got Watters who's more of a goal threat. I'd say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tedic comes on, he offs some puffs a lot, but is it going to be? Yeah, I, I, his work effort and his run down that's fine, but at the end of the day, he needs someone on a bit of the confidence and can put ball back at net. Uh, so like an hour coming off the bench you, you, you're going to say yeah pff, he's got it in him as Teddy comes on it's like you're open but he's going to do it rather than think yeah he's got it yeah, in him true. you know what I mean so yeah good, good, good shout about Andy mate um, and score prediction sorry oh yeah um, I'm going to go for a win um, I want to be generous I'm going to give Shrewsbury a goal I'm going to go for 3-1 because it's Easter mm-hmm. 
How's that? If it's Easter. Oh well, oh, fair enough. Then. If it's Easter, <laughs> if it's Easter, we'll yeah, we'll we'll give him one Easter egg. That's all we have one Easter egg. Um, I'll I'll have all basket me, so I don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. As regards changing starting eleven, I'd probably keep it as it is, unless there's any knocks. But I don't think there were any knocks. I think it was just like a, a disappointment at a defeat. Um, and having said that, he's liable to put you know drop Thomas in and you know Watters instead of Colin. Because he did it uh, before, didn't he? With extra game, following on to mark a game, I think. Yeah. So again, it, it depends on what happens. Um, good shout though, what you said there about the the subs. You know, because we, we tend to look at starting eleven, don't really look at like who's going to make bench. But now, when you look on bench, it's like you've got to think who who can come off a bench to make a change. Yeah, you've got Benson. You know, uh, who can come on and make a difference? And Watters. You know, there's players there what that can come on. Um, so yeah, good shot, man. Good shot. Uh, I'm going bounds a win. Obviously, we're going for a bounds a win. Um, I'm not feeling that generous because it's Easter. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, but it's have a good Friday, so I'm going to have it. I'm going to have my good Friday delayed. Good Monday. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, but there's goals in it. I'm going three out, so not too bad. Uh, I kind of uh, agree with you. Like I'm going three out. I'm just thinking that. I think reason why is that even though we lost, we're still taking it to him and being back at home, good record. We set off again and we we take it to him and we play our game. Um, and yeah. again, we can keep the momentum going and how it's possible at Oakwell. Uh, Oakwell's a fortress at the minute and we'll just keep it going. And we've got to keep it going uh, for his own benefit as well as others around us. So we're all going for bounds of wins. Um, and he's feeling generous because he thinks he's like, you know, got a megaphone in WWE again, and <laughs> but again, getting sure to be able to Easter egg goal, any for free. But <laughs> Brian's not. He's like me. He's like, yeah, we're just going to go free and out, Neil. We're going to do job done, and that's it, job done. So we're all going for bounds of wins. Uh, Andy and Ryan appreciate you taking time out uh, for this uh, bank holiday weekend. Um, don't get sick of your Easter eggs, Andy. By the way, uh, when, when you're eating them. Otherwise, we'll not be left for Shrewsbury a lot when we come up on Monday. Right. Uh, everybody that's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for your comments. Over 10,000 subscribers like now, so I appreciate everybody for uh, doing that as well. Not just as Olin fans, but fans from other channels and clubs as well. It's, cool. it's all about football. And that's what it's all about. Opinions and respectful ones at that. Going to the game, let's come back with three points. Let's have it. Let's, you know, come five o'clock, or depending on how much injury time gets played, uh, let's have a bounce a win and let's keep in yeah. touch. Uh, have a good weekend. One thing left to say, call on you, Reds.